Why did Taco Bell ditch its shredded chicken? Believe it or not, it wasn't just to make fans mad. In addition to streamlining the food prep process, the move makes room for some new items for a whole different set of diners. Taco Bell has been around since the 1960s, and its menu has constantly been evolving. Many fan favorites have come and gone over the years, like the Double Decker Taco, which was essentially two tacos for the price of one. Or the admittedly gimmicky Cool Ranch Doritos Taco. Or there's also the beloved but now gone Verde sauce, still mourned by its most devoted fans. Nacho fries, the spicy potatoes that came with a side of cheesy queso for dipping, took years of development. They've disappeared from the menu and come back several times. One of the most recent departures from the Taco Bell menu is not a dish, but an ingredient. Shredded chicken. The chain removed it from the menu in November 2020, leaving only a few chicken entrees available. The chicken quesadilla, the chicken chipotle melt, and the chicken chalupa combo. All dishes made with shredded chicken, including the shredded chicken soft taco, shredded chicken burrito, and shredded chicken quesadilla melt were taken off the menu permanently. In a statement, Taco Bell said of its menu changes, A simplified menu and innovation process will leave room for new fan favorites, continued progress in categories such as plant-based diets, and even opportunities for the return of some classics on a limited-time basis. Essentially, Taco Bell's menu had become overloaded with too many items, and it was becoming hard for individual locations to keep up. In a 2020 press release, company president Mike Grams explained that the decision to remove certain menu items, like the shredded chicken, was part of an effort to make the chain's processes more efficient. Ultimately, streamlining the menu was meant to make the dining experience faster and more pleasant for customers, as well as keep the menu as cheap as possible. Shredded chicken wasn't the only casualty. Other items removed at the time included the Mexican pizza and pico de gallo. Mexican pizza. It's gone forever. Pico de gallo and shredded chicken are also gone. For the record, Mexican pizza did make a comeback in 2022. Taco Bell's leadership realized that getting rid of these items may disappoint some people, but the chain promised it's for the best. Graham said in the company press release, While we know fans may be understandably sad to see some of their favorites go, this evolution of our menu truly paves the way for fresh new ideas. While the intent is for regulars to have a smoother and more seamless experience at Taco Bell, this reduced menu could also be great news for vegans looking for more options at the chain. A few non-meat options have stepped up in shredded chicken's place. A little less than two years after officially announcing the removal of products including shredded chicken quesadilla melt and seven-layer burrito, Taco Bell has announced a more innovative twist to its menu. The chain's offerings have always been at least somewhat veggie-friendly, but thanks to some recent partnerships, now Taco Bell has more vegan options than ever. In September 2022, the company issued a press release announcing a collaboration with Beyond Meat. Specifically, Beyond Carne Asada Steak would be available in the test market of Dayton, Ohio for a limited time. Taco Bell's plant-based efforts don't stop there. According to Veg News, the chain started testing vegan beef in 50 locations in August 2022, starting in Birmingham, Alabama. It was offered as part of classic options such as Nachos Bel Grande and Crispy Melt Tacos without extra cost. This beef is developed with chickpea and pea proteins, but it's seasoned in a way that mimics the meat that typically comes with those dishes. Veg News also reports that the chain did the same in the Detroit area October 2021 all part of the Cravitarian menu, which includes veggie versions of acclaimed items like Crunchwrap Supreme and Burrito Supreme. Taco Bell didn't charge customers for substituting vegan meat for beef for accessibility reasons. Chief Innovation Officer Liz Matthews told Forbes, It was important not to have an upcharge. As a brand, we want to make sure this is craveable, as craveable as our seasoned beef, and to democratize the product. It's not shredded chicken but it's certainly something.